sold some very exciting coins. How are you feeling about the sale of the Cardinal Collection? It was really an outstanding event. The turnout of uh, bidders and dealers and, and representatives of other collectors was really tremendous. Uh, the auctioneers did an outstanding job. Uh, rather than rushing through anything, uh, they took their time, they made sure everyone was properly recognized, they introduced the lots, they really presented each coin in, in a good, good light. You know, they made it engaging for the audience and as a result record prices were generated and it was a very, very gratifying result. And what did it feel? What did you feel when that $17.94 went up into the higher millions to stratospheric level, never been paid before? Uh, well, that was really quite extraordinary. I, I had heard some rumblings before the auction, indeed during the period of time that the foundation had owned the coin, that there were multiple other individuals that had an interest in the piece. And so I did expect that there would be strong interest at the auction. Uh, and one never knows on auction day just how things will turn out. And the, the representative of the buyer, uh, Laura Sperber, uh, she had commented to me that she had multiple people, multiple clients of that echelon, and sure enough, amongst them, they ended up with the high bid that placed the $1,794 as the single first coin to sell for over a $10 million price. Really just unbelievable. Uh, historic. I mean, it's an historic piece, and it just realized a very historic price. Why did you choose auction rather than private treaty? My day job is I'm a CPA. I work as the curator for the foundation, but the the processing of working with multiple bidders, uh, doing it in all fairness to each person who wishes to be represented and heard to give everyone a fair shot, I thought the fairest thing for all parties involved would be to involve a reputable uh, auction company, have the, have the piece presented in its best light so that bidders could bid with full knowledge and full information and have the opportunity to consider their bids and then compete against each other. And that's exactly what happened. What was it like working with Stax Miles? Well, it's, it's an immense organization. They, they put a tremendous amount of manpower behind the task. They worked on the cataloging, the, the historical references in the cataloging, the quality of the photography, the quality of the graphical layout, and, and the presentation in the catalog itself, truly outstanding uh, over a span of many months. And then brought to this extraordinary venue Penthouse overlooking Central Park in New York City. What more could you want? Truly an extraordinary experience. And what's next for the Cardinal Foundation? The next for the Cardinal Foundation is to, to digest the results of this, see where the market is, and see what next areas it can focus on to bring educational information to the world of numismatics.